Well, the definition is a little bit over the top, it seems. The Iowa Center for Public Affairs Journalism exists to do investigative and community affairs journalism as a public service in collaboration with other media, but also to train college students to do this work at a high level. We've been at this for some time now. A group of people got it started in February of 2010, and it's hard to believe, but in February of this coming year, we will have reached our seventh anniversary. I actually started when I was a student back in 2010 and did some reporting with Iowa Watch at that time as an honors fellow and then I came back. I got started with Iowa Watch after writing an article for one of my classes about medical cannabis in the state of Iowa. That professor passed on the article to Lyle, which got the ball rolling me working here. Iowa Watch is just a really great place to to be able to sort of explore a story, uh, to be able to go more in depth into a story. Being at Iowa Watch has taught me a lot of different things regarding investigative reporting. I learned to work at a much higher standard than I think was required of me in my classes. I felt that I was looked at here more as a professional, which at the end of it helped me produce something of, that I could be proud of. The backbone of what we do is with these college student journalists. These are people who take the work that ordinarily might be a good classroom project and actually turn it into something that has a lot of impact in Iowa and in the Midwest. And so, for example, we've worked with students on multiple campuses on projects such as finding the limits of speech on a college campus or how people are reacting to the politics that's going on. Before Iowa Watch, I'd been able to do some news reporting and I'd certainly, you know, learned some of the basic elements of what makes a good story and sort of what, how to inform readers about something that's going on. But when you're doing an investigative story, when you're doing a story that's a long form story, it can be pretty easy to get bogged down uh, and sort of all of the details get stuck in the weeds. And so Iowa Watch really has taught me how to, to take a complex, uh, longer story and make it uh, interesting to readers. We did a project with Cedar Falls High School in the winter and spring of 2016 and they were fabulous. They were able to take a topic, how is climate change taught in high schools and produce a story that was published in several newspapers. They also were able to produce a story for their own newspaper, the Cedar Falls Tiger Highline. And the interesting thing about this is, is now other high school journalism advisors in Iowa want to duplicate that effort with Iowa Watch in the coming year. So we're looking forward to that. Iowa Watch has a long range goal of being sustainable and for a long period of time. We receive funding from foundations, we get grants and contracts from different folks for services that we provide. We have a lot of individual donors now, far more than we had a few years ago, and we're grateful for that. We also hold events. We want to have a little bit of fun, such as a fundraiser and silent auction, or movies, having discussions in the public about important issues. I think the key lessons that I've learned through Iowa Watch are just, you know, kind of the what makes a good story, how to really delve into that story, how to get down and make sure that you've, you've checked all of the facts, make sure that everything's as accurate as it can possibly be. We feel like we've accomplished a lot, but we have more to do. We certainly look forward to more partnerships. We're pleased with the people with whom we work, and we want to continue that relationship.